Times Cafe. I can't wait to hit the new games near Splash Bar. I just found my new favorite slot. Morongo. Good food, good fun, good times. For everybody. You always get more at Simpson. If you expect more, you'll get more at Simpson Cadillac of Buena Park. Cadillac is made to move this Labor Day with a 2023 Cadillac XT5 luxury lease for only $299 plus tax per month. Now at Simpson Buick GMC, get a new 2023 GMC Sierra two-wheel drive crew cab pro lease for only $339 plus tax per month. At the Simpson family of dealerships, we're big enough to deal, small enough to care. CBS Los Angeles, your home for Chargers football. is KCAL News Mornings. Hi everyone, good morning. Today is Thursday, August 31st. I'm Marcy Gonzalez. I'm Rudy Bay Shabazi. Thanks for waking up with us here on KCAL News and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Here are the stories we're tracking this morning. And take what you want and just go. It's just heartbreaking. A killer on the loose after a veteran is stabbed to death inside his own home. And we're learning this isn't the first attack. We'll have the rush to get him behind bars before he strikes again. Words don't describe how I feel on it, and I know that what the family's going through is far worse. Three lives lost in a violent crash. Now a community has had enough. What they're doing this morning to try to make the streets safer. What matters is what I'm holding right here. Cleaning up and surveying the damage after Hurricane Idalia. We'll have a look at the aftermath as the now tropical storm makes its way out to sea. But first, we are finally in for a mm -hmm. cool down after that extremely hot weather. Amber Lee is here tracking our forecast. And you can already tell the difference, I'm sure, when you walked out the house, right? It felt a little cooler. Yes. You maybe saw some fog. Uh, and that's because the return of low clouds and fog right here in the Southland as we are headed into this long holiday weekend. So that just tells us that it will be much cooler today because we haven't seen the fog in a while here. All right, so let's take a look. This is our Santa Monica camera. You can see just how dense the fog is. We're down to about a quarter mile or less. So this is why that dense fog advisory has been issued. Temperatures right now for the Santa Monica area about 65 degrees. And then this is where we're seeing more of the fog. LA and Ventura County. Orange County not included in this advisory because they just don't have any fog at all this morning. So just be aware that this advisory is on till 9 a.m. Drive slow. Use your low beams. We're down to about a quarter mile as I mentioned for Santa Monica down to about two for the Beverly Hills area three for downtown LA and oh it looks like it's improving just a little bit for Santa Monica but still down to about half a mile and then all the fog has spread inland to areas like Montebello, La Mirada just past the five freeway from the coast all the way on inland. I'll have more details on just how cool it's going to get as we head into this long holiday weekend. All right Kalina good morning. Hey good morning. So Sky Cal's overhead right now on the 101 through Sherman Oaks where you can see some delays already building. This is mostly as you approach the 101 so keep that in mind in the southbound direction and then also north Northbound as you head on over toward the Woodland Hills area. Overall look at LA as a whole. We have a couple incidents to tell you about this morning. This one's one of the bigger ones. Westbound 60 at the 710. The left lane is blocked off. Speeds down to 10 miles per hour just before the 710. And the overall backup, we have it mapped out from the 57 over to the 710 freeway. Take about 30 minutes to get through. You can take the 10 or the 210 as an option to get around the backup there on the 60. A new problem, 110 North at Slauson. Stalled car in the middle lane. That is a backup through the South LA area. Quick look at Lancaster, Palmdale, Santa Clarita. That's all looking pretty good right now. And this is a look at that fog that Amber just mentioned. You can see some slowing here as well. This is the 405 right at Olympic Boulevard in West LA. Coming up, I'll take you out to the Inland Empire for travel times there. Ruta Bay, back to you. Kalina, thank you. A serious threat in Whittier this morning. A killer is on the run and there is concern he could strike again. Yeah, the warning comes after an elderly man was stabbed to death inside his own home. KCAL News reporter Tina Patel is live outside of the victim's home. And Tina, of course, neighbors are really disturbed by this. 
Yeah, they say this man was such a light, such a great neighbor to so many. Uh, a jokester, they called him. He's been identified as Roland Alexander II, and you can see that some neighbors have come by and put a memorial up outside his home. We have some pictures. The 84-year-old was a retired command sergeant major with the National Guard. He had lived in Whittier for more than four decades. And